Hi, today I'm gonna to show you how I roast beets and sweet potatoes. Super easy, delicious. I love the combination of the beets and the sweet potatoes together, but I roast them on their own separate trays. So you, I, I felt like it, I can't just sweet potatoes or just beets, but I typically combine them both after they're baked. I will roast them in the oven at 350. I've got the oven preheating right now. Basically, you peel, peel the uh, sweet potatoes and the beets, and then you lay them on a parchment lined baking sheet. Sprinkle a little olive oil, put your vegetables down, sprinkle some more olive oil, salt and pepper them, bake them till they're done to the crispiness you want, and then enjoy. <laughs> they're really good. They're the best straight from the oven, but I also, believe it or not, I like them cold. Some days I'll come home and I'll just grab them, pour, put them into a little bowl, and eat them cold from the fridge. They're good that way too. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to peel the beets and the sweet potatoes. Well, I like to just stand over the trash can and peel. You really can't see me, but I'm gonna do I'm starting now, and um, really you don't have to watch me peel them. I'm going to peel the rest of them, and then I'll continue with you. Okay, I have peeled the sweet potatoes, and the next thing I do is I sprinkle my baking sheet with the parchment paper with olive oil. Today, I'm using fresh blood orange from the Temecula Olive Oil Company. I love their olive oil. I like uh, the owners and what they stand for. And I've been there toward the olive grove and it's a fantastic place. So today I'm using fresh blood orange. I've done jalapeno on the sweet potatoes, not on the beets, but I've done jalapeno olive oil on the sweet potatoes. It's really good too. Um, plain olive oil is great. And um, so I just drizzle it. There's no magic to it. Put it on the parchment lined baking sheet. And then I'm going to cut it up and just toss them on as we go. Once I have the sweet potatoes chopped up, I put the bigger pieces. I usually start with them and kind of put them near a little olive oil in the corners. And I try to put the bigger pieces around the edge. Um, I like them crispy, so when I bake them, I, I look for the nice crispiness before I take them out. And once I've had the big ones, I have the big ones around the edges, I will just toss them on. Um, one thing real special here. And good, there's space that I can fit this next sweet potato on. So what I'll do is I'll cut it ugh, in half and then I'll cut that half in half again. So I have the two halves and I will cut it vertically. Not very precise. So then again, Then I'll take these sections and chop some bite-sized pieces. And starting with the sweet potatoes, because the beets tend to leave you with stained hands, or you can use a plastic glove to protect your hands. It washes out pretty easily. So I have finished that up. I'm now going to take more olive oil and drizzle it across the top of the sweet potatoes. And then I'll take the pepper. And salt. Put a little 
lighter on the salt than the pepper. And there you can see, don't they look great? So I am going to put these in the oven and start roasting them. And there they are, ready to go in the oven. They look pretty. Actually, they're really orange, but for some reason on my iPhone, they look a bit yellow. And there they go, off in the oven at 350. Yeah. Well, I had that little bit of that one sweet potato left, so I decided that I'm going to go ahead and make a little small tray and with the uh, fresh jalapeno olive oil. What the heck, right? There's some left over, so I'm just going to sprinkle the olive oil on. Put the big ones in the corners. There are too many. And I'm going to sprinkle again. Back to the pepper. And a little more salt. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to have the, beet, the beets, the sweet potatoes with the fresh jalapeno and others with the blood orange. So these are going to go into the oven with the rest. It's been about a half hour for the sweet potatoes that I first put in. So I'm going to grab the uh, blood orange olive oil and I'm one handing this. How are you like that? And I'm just going to add a little more olive oil to the sweet potatoes. So there you can see I'm adding a little more olive oil. It's been about a half hour. They're looking great and they're going back in the oven. Okay, so the beets are peeled. I've cut off the ends. I've also rinsed them again. I've re-rinsed the cutting board, rinsed off the knife. Um, there's a little residual, you can see here. Looks like a tie-dyed paper towel. <laughs> but anyhow, I am going to find oh, the smoothest spot to drop that down on. And then it's the same process as those sweet potatoes. I cut it in half cut those halves and halves again. And uh, they're really pretty, aren't they? And then I'm going to chop into bite-sized pieces. So I have a confession to make. When I was um, filming the sweet potatoes and the drizzled olive oil, I said, wait, I'm gonna make sure that the olive oil gets all the way to the corners because it's really tasty. Um, so I, as I was drizzling the olive oil on the first take of the sweet potatoes, I said the Temecula Olive Garden, so <laughs> like the restaurant, and then I had to stop and restart. So now I've decided that I pr should probably create a little bloopers video. So I'm just going to cut these up, put the big ones towards the outside, and I've already put the orange olive oil on the pan. I'm going to do the others. Cut it in half. Cut the half in half again. And uh, I really think they're pretty. Um, so when I was a kid, I loved to play house. And uh, <laughs> so go figure that I decided to open a bed and breakfast, right? And there's just something about creating a nest, inviting people to stay, making it cozy, um, getting to know new people, making new friends. I really, really have enjoyed owning the bed and breakfast. It's been um, seven months. And I feel like it was something I was meant to do. So I've got two more and um, we'll see if they'll fit onto the tray or if I have to get another little tray. And they will shrink down. I'll put all these on here and you'll see when I'm done, um, they'll shrink down and you think, man, I probably could have put more onto one tray. But um, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna do these two and then I'll be right back with you. 
Well, all the beets are chopped up, ready to go into the oven. Um, I have a tie-dyed paper towel as a result. Throw that away. I haven't sprinkled it with the olive oil, so we're back with the blood orange olive oil on the beets, which is gonna be amazing. And I'm just sprinkling it. So I will check this in about a half hour, and sometimes I jiggle the tray and add more olive oil. Okay, so there they are, aren't they pretty? They're kind of sliding, but they're beautiful beets and they're gonna taste so good. There they are, one last look before I pop them into the oven. Well, it's been an hour and 15 minutes on the sweet potatoes and I like how they look, but the beets are bigger and in Missouri, our beets usually aren't quite this big, so today, um, I have some big beets and consequently they're going a little slower. So what I'm going to do is take the sweet potatoes out for now and let the beets catch up. Okay, I've taken the sweet potatoes and the beets out of the oven and I've tossed them to get the olive oil on all sides and incorporated a little more. The beets took about two hours. The sweet potatoes, I took them out for a half hour to let the beets catch up, and they took about an hour and a half. So you get the concept here. Usually I allow myself about an hour in the night. I always watch after 30 minutes, and then I gauge by how quickly they're cooking, how crispy I want them. And really it just depends on the size of the vegetables and um, how they're moving along. So you get the idea. I am going to mix the sweet potatoes and the beets together today. Um, I really think that would be great. So I'm going to put a little bit of beets, the sweet potatoes, Usually, I have more sweet potatoes than beets. Today, I have more beets than sweet potatoes. They were bigger. Uh, probably because it's August. It's a great time to get beets. Rosemary from the garden, and voila, is that luscious? And there you go, the roasted beets and sweet potatoes with a little bit of rosemary for garnish. Okay, now I get to try them. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> mm. So good. Thank you for spending today with me.